What's up guys, Adam Palmer here, the freelance king, and I just got another question, and that is, what are my options as a freelancer if I do not receive payment after sending out an invoice? Here's the problem, guys. You don't have a lot of options here. I mean, the problem is, you know, you can, you can send out threatening letters, you can threaten to go to small claims court, you can do all of these things, but at the end of the day, they're going to cost you a lot more in time, energy, and lawyer fees. And just the worst part about it is the opportunity cost that you're going to be paying. Because if you're putting your energy into finding and chasing money, then you're not going to be able to put your energy into finding new clients and working on the clients that are paying. And this is why, guys, I've, I've said it a million times, but you have to set up your contracts correctly from the start and anyone telling you that you should be doing fixed price projects or gig work or net 30 any of, of these options are just there there's things that you should do in the beginning to get reviews and that's it okay i have a whole system in place that teaches you guys like not to keep on going with the gig work type of things like stop selling project catalog things unless it's just consulting hour unless you're literally just going to get on the phone and talk for 30 minutes or an hour it's the only time after you're established you should be doing work like that because if not you wind up having to chase for milestones redo work all of these things that are going to take your focus off of the bigger picture and, but when you do hourly work, especially when you're using the Upwork platform, you never have to chase money. Again, it's all automated and these contracts can last for years. I'm so sick and tired of people saying that, oh, really work is obsolete. And that's not what you want to do because these are the people that just can't sell their time for money. And you need to get to a point where the clients are excited to pay you for your hourly work, excited to partner with you, excited to keep these contracts open with you, excited to bring in other members of your team. And that's the horizon. That's the goal is to bring in other talented freelancers into your business, into your freelance business, and then get them the hourly work too. And then you have this whole business where there's people that are working with you and making hourly work and you can start to make a considerable amount of money and you're not just trading your own time for money this is the way so you'll never be put in a position where you're not going to receive payment because you're insured and that's the whole amazing thing about the upwork hourly protection is that for the first time payments are insured right that's never happened before you've always had to resort to chasing the money, to hiring a lawyer, to figuring out what your options are, to posting and asking me questions about how to get the money. I'm not going to be able to help you get the money. I mean, yeah, we can, we can send demand letters. We can threaten. But what are we going to do at the end of the day? You're going to have to spend a lot of energy, but you could be making a lot more just by finding and working with the clients that are willing to pay you. And that's, and if you do that, then you're going to be making new money. You're going to be learning new skills. You're going to be making more people happy. It's just such a better option to spend your energy working with the people that are willing to pay you versus looking backwards, and trying to find money from a client that's unwilling to pay. And you don't even really know why they're unwilling to pay. Is it that they have no money? is that they're unhappy with their work, your work. There's a lot of unknowns here. Like they can be unhappy with their money. And then, and then they, you find out how they get paid from them and then they sue you because they're not happy and they feel like they, they shouldn't have paid. It's a quagmire and you don't want to get stuck in it. And that's why you want to do hourly work only, period. And anyone telling you different has an agenda or they don't know how to sell their time for money, period. Thanks for the question.